up, Lucky Nation? Hey, y'all got a chance to win this car for $25. $25, man. Hey, y'all waste more money on that on fast food. $25, man. You see it? The 20, the 20, the 20 twin, and the five, man. You can win this ride right here, man. All custom out. But yeah, the link is down below in the comment box and the description. And um, all you gotta do is enter the win, man. 25 bucks, you can take this car home, man. $25, man. I know y'all got it, man. And we're gonna feed the homeless. So it's going to a good cause. I'm not just gonna waste the money or whatever. I wanna feed the homeless. So we got aftermarket lights, custom rim. Look at the wheels. Custom tail light, carbon fiber, everything. Look at the roof. Carbon fiber. S S baby. Here goes the inside. You can see it. We got amps and extra battery. Feel the base. Oh, can't forget the heart of the car. The engine. Oh yeah. 5.3, two, four, three heads. So I got the LS2 heads on there. You see it. Reverse, reverse. Like I said, y'all, $25. You can get this car into the raffle. We're about to feed the homeless. And uh, we're gonna turn on, I'm also gonna record that too, just cause y'all don't believe me. And we're gonna go live for the giveaway. So y'all make sure y'all enter the raffle, man. The comments below, uh, just hit the link, man, and, and then everything from there. I think you need a credit card or whatever, but hey, you be good. 25, man. Hey, it's a sign, man. Let's get it. Yay! Lucky's Wheels and Deals. We back at it again with another live video, you guys. So today, I'm riding in the I Rock. I rock, I rock, I rock. And, um, yeah, are they open? Okay. I told him I was coming. So he said he already knew the guy. Let me hop out in my car. It's right there. So we're about to let him off. About to get this car ready. Um, I got everything in the trunk. I need to talk to him about putting maybe headers, but I, I need that motherfucker to run first. So then I'll give up with the headers. I got my chicken noodle soup. I got my phone. But, uh, oh, man. So y'all see it, man. I got the Monte Carlo. Oh. I'll see it, man. We're about to get her fixed, man. Get her up and running. I thought I was gonna give up on her, huh? I know. Let me get some of this money if I could pay the man. Real quick. Real quick. Man. Hope we got some change. But uh, yeah, guys, y'all see it. We're about to get her done, man. They said she should be ready today. I don't know though. We gonna see. We gonna see, man. All the rims got to go. I'm putting the IROCs on. I'm putting. I'm going with Chrome IROC. I might order them today, man. Especially if I get this thing up and running how I want to. Oh uh, yeah. But uh, that's it. Yeah, those those got to go. Whoever want to buy these. Matter of fact, I got somebody's number that said they wanted to buy those, man. So when I take those up, I'm about to most definitely sell those. They look like they belong on a Chevy truck or something. Got the IROC daily driving it. Uh, all, right, all right, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll see it, man. I'm going to go over here and holler at them and see what they got going. Oh, I'm getting in the seat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Starting in these rooms, not left anything in there. Oh, let me show y'all real quick. I see what y'all saying. I think the starter was going, is going out. Try to replace the starter too. 
They got the long tube headers. Y'all see it, I got a new intake, new carburetor, new coolant, oil filter, oil filter. And I decided to go with this high mileage edge. So yeah, man, got the gaskets, got the uh, silicone stuff to go on there. So let me go ahead and Turn the key over to them and uh, let me holler at them real quick and I'll get right back to y'all. Ma'am, I just dropped it off. Gotta go. We're gonna start off with just getting my shit running right. I'm gonna get that shit running right. Got the starter acting up before I have them put headers and all that shit. Let me make sure that motherfucker running right. I'll be spending extra money putting headers on and that shit I had to think about. Like, ah. Let's get it running first. Alright. Got that shit out the way. Now I'm on my way to the auction. I need to put this camera down because I cannot mount it because I just got the window done. And I got my chicken and y'all know these cars do not have no damn cup holders. I need to reverse out that way. Let me reverse out. I don't have to go that way. Let's see. Huh? I might need to give me a. I might need to give me a starter. Got that supercharger whining. Y'all hear that shit? But yeah, man, I'm loving this retro stuff, man. I was just driving the, the, the other Z28 compared to this. I don't know, I just like, I like how this hood is so smooth. It's just, it's so smooth with it, man. I just like how you can see the front end to it instead of like, it's sloping down. I don't know. I just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But I want to drive my Monte Carlo because I ain't really got I ain't really got to enjoy it man you know I drove it but I ain't really got to enjoy it man I've been enjoying this car more than that car you know but we're gonna get it all together I'm not gonna give up oh sell it it's not going I'm not selling it I'm not selling it I'll put a fucking LS in there before I sell it okay. I want to see if I can get it to run like that now if the engine messed up then we gonna we're gonna talk about it's going to get fixed, bottom line. It's going to be running again. I got me fucked up trying to doubt your boy. But, and again, though, a lot of y'all motherfuckers out there be haters, man. Not the Lucky Nation. Lucky Nation rock with your boy regardless of what I say or what I do. Y'all stay having my back. But for those that don't know me or barely be watching or just start watching me, y'all be hating, man. And I ain't talking about just the people that had, like, little crit criticism or... You know, trying to help me out and tell me, look, you should uh, do this, this. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the people that. Ooh, is Park Lights work? Oh, I don't know. Some of y'all be saying slick shit. He's not a mechanic. No shit. I'm not a fucking mechanic. I'm not going to pretend like I'm one. Um, some of y'all be like, uh, he's not a mechanic. Uh, you should do this. You should do that. You should start working on your own car. Like, man. You should start working on your own cars. Uh, you should do, man, like, I can only do so much, man. Like, there's only a certain amount of time in the one day. I got to get this money. Like, man, I be buying and selling shit. I don't got time to be working on shit. Um, I mean, lightweight shit, like tune-ups and shit that I actually done before. Break, like, shit like that. Breaks, tune-ups, like that small shit changing alternators. I done did that before. It's both on, you know move the tension and all that shit, but all that wiring shit that I ain't, I'm not familiar with at all is a whole learning curve and it takes time and patience. And right now I don't have the time and or patience to be dealing with that. So just to answer y'all guys' questions, just because y'all was curious and some people like, shit, well, I didn't see that comment. I didn't, even, uh, I'm just answering back to your comments, man. I'm not really addressing the haters, but, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, man, uh, hopefully I get my car back today. Um, yeah, just hopefully, hopefully this shit turn out right, man. I'll be happy. You know what I'm saying? I would be happy. But, um, yeah, man, I, I'm gonna head to.
to the auction. Oh, yeah, later on, we hopefully we go see Austin's Monte Carlo. Hopefully he brings it out or whatever. So hopefully we get to see his Monte Carlo running and going and moving around. Maybe I could drive his. Maybe I might drive his shit. That's what I might do. If I could see what a Monte Carlo is supposed to feel like. And he got the factories on his shit. His shit just came. He just got it yesterday. He came in on the truck from uh, New Jersey. So he did it. Hey, he went to where he go to Philly. He, he flew into Philly to go to go hang out with some broad, and then uh, took her car, drove to New Jersey. Boy, fool! Took her car, drove to New Jersey. Sorry for putting your business out there like that, but damn, sound like some shit I would do. But uh, <laughs> go ahead, bust the moves, man. I'm fly out there, chill with you for a little bit. But I'm out here on business. I'm, I'm gonna drive over here and uh, pick up this car. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna drive back, send it on, on, on the truck. I'm gonna fly back out to Oklahoma. Bam, I'm out. One night stand. Hey, he did it within two days or one day or some shit. Took a uh, direct flight back around. Went out there to go look at it, hang out on a business trip. Business and pleasure. But, um, Anyways, guys, so hopefully we get to see that car. I'm, about to, I'm on my way to the auction. So I'm going to try to get some lit-ass footage for y'all. See what these cars are going for. Even though I'm probably not going to buy nothing. Because I'm so busy, tied up, dealing with these old cars. I've been buying a whole bunch. So I'm still looking for that 96 Impala SS. I'm going to get it. Unfortunately, yesterday, something went wrong with Copart's app or whatever. And I couldn't fucking bid on it. I was like... And when I clicked on it, it went earlier than when I expected. So when I clicked on it, it was like, so on approval. I'm like, what? Are you serious? I feel like throwing my phone. But hey, I guess it wasn't meant for me. And uh, like yesterday, I was saying like, shit, man, it would have been a, a savage title. And I would have had to turn it to a rebuild. So I probably wouldn't be able to get my antique insurance or, or get that full coverage. So if something do happen, because I plan on putting money into my all my cars over time i'm gonna have money in my car so i'm you know something happened uh tornado hailstorm or, or car wreck or whatever the hell have car blow up catch on fire i'm gonna get cashed out i don't got time to be taking no losses man these are investments you know these old cars are gonna work money later on i don't plan on selling them but still there's money in the bank just in case something happens i can sell them you know so there's money in the bank man um, but anyways, I'll catch y'all. I'm about to finish eating, fucking up this uh, chicken noodle soup. And uh, damn, I'm gonna try to make my way to the auction and start a whole nother video. But shit, um, I was about to say, what the fuck was that? That damn smoking, but I guess the water splash and hit the pipes. <laughs> I was about to say, oh well, yeah, man, I, I'm loving this car. I'm loving it. Oh, if y'all didn't see the video yesterday, I also tinted the windows, front windshield, back back windshield not the top and it, if i like you gotta have tint man it makes you feel more private but i might make this darker i don't know i'm gonna see how it feels you know when the sun's out right now it's gloomy but anyways guys man we on to the next let's get it so guys we got some down bad news man so we're about to go ahead and, and see what they talking about they said that the that the engine's bad Oh my god. Man. Good, good. Uh, is Renee? Yeah, he's, uh, he's on the phone. I think we we'll oh, Okay. You can go look and see where the car is. Danny can show you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bullshit drive. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, that'll work. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Uh -huh. 
A hundred bucks, come back. Yeah, that motor's not gonna last you, bro. Yeah. Pull it out. Buy you a crate motor, throw it in. Yeah. Yeah, the intake and carburetor will still work. I mean, good. Or put it back together and it might, Dan says it might last you two or three thousand miles. Two or three thousand, damn. It's got water in the gas tank, too. Yeah. Oh, it does? Water. Yeah, I didn't. It was full inside the carburetor. Really? Water. Oh, from when the fire, because the fire department. Um, oh, it caught on fire? Yeah, it caught on fire. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. the fire people uh, put water on the carburetor. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if that's. Yeah, all that water leaks down into your motor. Oh, yeah, but it's it's not that's not what killed it. All of that sludge that's from lack of oil changes, uh huh. Uh, not maintenance in it, uh, so wherever it came and inside the valves are trash. Yeah, yeah, they're not gonna last. When you start this thing up, they're, they're, not gonna, they're just gonna smoke like Damn. terribly. Damn, so it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, how much do the engines cost for these? Uh, we're gonna need what year is this? 87. 87? We're gonna need a we're gonna need a one with heads and everything. Make sure you get the vortex kits. Yeah. So you have to buy anything. Yeah. This is crazy. So guys, I've been up here about what time what time is it? About Two hours or so. Find out what time it is. Man. I've been up here about two hours, probably even three. So what we're going to do? The LS swapping it. So or I'm going with the new LT engine on it. I think with the six speed or eight speed or whatever. He's gonna find me something. So this thing down. Oh shit, oh, he's trying to race. Austin up there in his uh, 87 Monte Carlo SS. He's trying to get loose. I want to drive his shit, man. I didn't even really get to have fun with my Monte Carlo. But this is what y'all wanted. Hey, I guess everything happens for a reason. It's the reason why I did that. It forced my hand to just go ahead and LS swap it. It forced my hand. Like, I'm like, damn, might as well. He's going to. Yeah, he's ordering everything for me right now. But look at him. I can't roll the window down, but we got the we got all of them up in there. The Monte Carlo, man. <laughs> all three of the brothers, man. Three amigos. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. You gotta have fun in these old cars, man. Hey, 80s baby. They look hella gangsta in there. Oh, JJ in the back seat leaning and shit. But what we're about to do is, guys, I'm about to go ahead and hop up in this car, do a little walk around of his 87 Monte Carlo SS. Um, let me see, can I get on the side of him again? I want to get, uh, I want to drive it. I'm going to put the window mount. I got, my, I got my window mount somewhere around here. He just got it yesterday. It just came in off the truck. All the way from New Jersey, New Jersey. Oh yeah, so like you say, just daily driving, man. Hey, I'm excited, y'all. So I ain't gonna have no carburetor cars. This car is tuned in port. This car drives fucking excellent, amazing. So when I get my oh, and then on Monday, today's Wednesday. On Monday, I'm dropping my Chevelle off to get fixed. Maybe I should have brought it here, but we gonna try try different mechanics out. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, but I think I like I like I like Renee, man. Real cool dude, man. That's the owner. If y'all guys don't know, and um, yeah, so I I believe this is gonna work out for the best. But that's the reason why I didn't get the Impala. Yeah, all everything happens for a reason. Like me buying the Impala, like nah, take that money that you're gonna spend on the '96 Impala and get your Monte Carlo straight. Um, I think I'm a. After. I need to get this motherfucker running first. I don't know am I gonna paint it or whatever the case is, but this is the best time when it start getting cold. The best time to start getting your, your cars done. Look at, look at, look at. You ready? Hit it, get it. Uh, what I'm 
feeling the eye rock, man. Um, yeah, so let's see. I gotta get some other cars ready for ready for sale. Now, most definitely, I'm selling the I'm selling the 07 Monte Carlo SS. Now, I gotta fund some of this stuff, man. YouTube ain't paying enough. You know what I mean? I gotta fund some of this shit. Some shit gots to go. Some shit gotta leave the fleet before I can bring some more shit to the fleet. You know what I mean? I'm still gonna be looking for a 96 Impala SS though. Cause I already have I already have plans that I was gonna LS swap it anyways, man. I was just trying to hold off for a year or whatever, but shit, I got the money, man. Go ahead and go ahead and do it, man. That's what y'all wanna see, man. Y'all get you a real money, Carlo! Get you a real one. Oh yeah, I still got that 71. I gotta sell shit, man. That's money, money. I'm, I'm sitting on some money. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he, he pulled over. I'll see y'all when I pull up over here. Oh, he wants to try to get off. He wants to try to get loose. Or he gonna try to break loose. But he gonna try to take off. <laughs> oh man. So, yeah, I thought I was gonna be having my car today. I mean, they could have put it back together, but that shit probably would last, what, no longer than two months. That motor was slugged up. I don't like, it would have been a waste of money to put money into that motor. If anything, get a 350 and do, and put some money into it, but, nah. I'm gonna have to put this car Bam, y'all, we have it. Here we have it, man. It don't got, it's not that bad. There's a little rust right there. Shit, ain't bad, man. Ain't gonna be bad. We'll put a little bit of rust. Why don't you put some carpet in here? Oh, yeah. Put some, put some, some still a little rust, but put some carpet in there. Oh, put yeah. some little sound damper so you can, so, the, so you ain't getting no noise from the back. Oh, yeah. Hey, is this in better shape than the one that you had before? Or no? Yeah. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Yeah, I threw his damn tag on the back. His lazy ass threw it in the back. All right, man, let me put that tag on. Huh? Maybe better get some screws and put the screws in that tag. Where the other screw at? That's not a thing to put a screw in? If you don't need a screw with a washer on there. Or a fucking. Yeah, it's a little bit of rust, bro. But you know, the Monte Carlo's tags usually, like, like don't they screw right there? Nah, you just flip it down, see? You just like, need one boom boom right here. Oh, you need that uh, like, you just need pl these plastic things. thing. Yeah. Well, I think so I got, got one. I think I got, I think I got one. Or just, or Hold on. Get, well, I think I got a, I got, I think I got something for you. Let me help my mans out real quick, man. Got the eye rock. Help him out one time, man. Let me bless him one time. All right, let me go in my backpack real quick. I think I got him. All right, guys. So he got the original 305. I really, like, I'm really curious to see how his drive compared to mine. So mine evidently was, wasn't running worth shit. How's the oil on this one? You didn't even check. You wanna see, man? You wanna see? I know mine's was black. Yep. Like honey, man. Like honey. I'm a vegan though, so I don't eat that shit. Oh, okay. That, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. This is a 305 
H-O. H-O means high output. High output. So there's two different ones or no? No, it's, it's no two different. It's all Monte Carlo SS's have a 305 high output engine. Oh, okay. From 83 to 88. Oh, okay. The, the, three, the 350, I mean the 305 high output motor. What's special about the Monte Carlo motor, it has the Corvette crossfire heads on it. Oh. That, and that's a different 305 motor than the original 305 they put in all the other little oh, okay. Chevrolet cars. Oh, okay. And it has a 200 R4 transmission, so it has four speed, four gears, and a 200 R4 transmission is an overdrive transmission. Yeah, you know, you, you know your Monte Carlo. Or do you know your car or you know your Monte Carlo? I know Monte Carlo. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I it is just that. Yeah, He's been trying to get me to get one for years. Oh, man. 83 to 88. 83 and 84 came white and blue. It was the only two colors. Oh, 84? 83 and 84, yeah. Those the first years, huh? Yeah. White and what? 83. You said uh, white and uh, what other color? Blue. White and blue? Yep. Mm. The difference between an 87 and an 88 is no big difference. The big difference is the brick land. That's the only big difference in the 88 and the 87. It has no other difference in the car. What's the rear glass? Uh, this glass. I mean, well, what changes on that? I got it. I ain't paid attention to the biggest shape. All oh, the shape of yeah. the. Oh, okay. And then you know you you know you got a later 87 model right here. It's a spoiler that tells you you got a later model right here. The lay down spoiler tells you you know that. What was mine's? The spoiler stands up. Mine's it's like this. Newer, it's a newer 87 model. Mine's is like later, this. 87 is the lay down. All right. So, you know, so it's an early. So if it's a later one, it's like this. Yeah. And if it's an earlier one, it stands up. And it's also different factories that produce it. I think they produce them in Michigan, I believe Texas, and I think it's like I think I don't know, really in California. Yeah. There's three or four states they produce the Monte Carlo SS in. Hell yeah. And on the distinguishing thing between a 83, 83 to 86 Monte Carlo, they have the headlights inside, not outside. The 87 and the 88 is the only ones with the headlights that come out. Damn, I gotta pay attention. I gotta look. I gotta look at them. You know. Oh yeah. A lot yeah. of unique features about this car, man. Yeah. This is my favorite car, man. So I, kinda, car, I know huh? everything. I know what everything costs on this car. <laughs> yeah. What everything, you know. You can read the VIN and probably tell you exactly what factory it come from. Damn, man. So how can you tell, I remember you told me, but tell them, how can you tell different from a clone and the, like the, or the fake one or like A lot the, of the clones you can tell by the front clip. The front clip tells you a lot of it right there. Yeah. On the front clip? Yeah, the front clip. Well, they were trying to make an SS without without that bumper, but some of them just throw these bumpers on uh, on the regular ones. And like, uh, what is it like, Monte Carlo? I believe '85 and '86. The headlights move a little bit different. I mean, uh, it's not the oh, headlights, but the mirror. It moves up forward and back here. On the on the older ones, they're back here. Yeah, and then on like '83, '84, 80, uh -huh. when you get the white seats, you got the SS on the seats. See, on the '85, they didn't come with the SS on the seats. They what came. year you say it came with the SS? 83, 85. 80, oh, okay. Yeah. Man, you, hey, how you be learning all this shit? Read it up. I know everything about this car, man. I got to figure I, I got to get it. to a T, man, so I know yeah. everything really about this car. Shit, man. And he just got it like I told y'all, man. He ain't even did nothing to it, but just registered. That's it, huh? Yeah, just registered. That's all he just did right now. So y'all said, man. Oh, he got, he got the dash, man. He got a whole brand new dash. Brand new dash out the box. I think you, are you going to try to? Uh, redo the seats or die them. I'm gonna redo the seats, man. I want to reupholster them, man. Yeah, I yeah. want to go back, man. Monte Carlo, this is a ox blood, yeah, uh, ox maroon, blood. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and then you gotta do this. Matter of fact, remind me to tell you, I got a guy that do interior too for a oh, good yeah. price. Oh, yeah, remind me. I just found them out. Yeah, all your thing, all your shit is in intact too. Yeah, you still cap thirty dollars. I mean five. I think it's when five dollars a center cap. Five dollars a center cap. To, send them, yeah. to get them sent to you, is thirty dollars. Yeah. The spoiler, hundred twenty five dollars. Bring the spoiler. One hundred twenty five dollars for a spoiler. Yep. One seventy five a headlight. <laughs> he know the price off the back. Quarter panel, four twenty five. Four twenty five. Shit. One fifty. One fifty. You know, cow, if you want a cow induction hood on oh, the fender, 125. Oh, cow induction hood, $500. Damn. 
you know, to send it to your house, six hundred dollars, but you got a business, five fifty. Yeah. You yeah. know, front clip, five hundred dollars. Woo! You know, I think I believe uh the strips, the strips, all in this right here. Yeah. Chevrolet, all the decals and stuff, three hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna have to order real. I know, real I know everything about this car. Man. Yeah. When I say everything, like. Are you gonna try to change your hood? You gonna leave this hood? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the two two inch cow induction hood. See mine's right. Are right, you like that that same inch. one? Yeah. yeah. Two inch cow induction. That's what hood. sold me the car. Like, oh, I got to have it, but yeah. And then the special thing about these, you know, check your rear end, see if you got positive traction. You know, some of them come with a tag on. It. Uh, what is this one? No. Oh, you don't know? Are you checking? I don't check? know. Cause I didn't see it. It didn't see it on the original window sticker. Oh. You know, you, the cool thing about this, I forgot. You can lift the, you can jack the rear end up and spin one of the wheels. And if they both spin in the same direction, that means you got positive traction oh, with this. Okay. You don't. Oh, okay. So you got to do that. But look, here's the window window sticker. Damn. Y'all guys want to know how much these cars cost when it came out? It was sixteen thousand and. $870. Yeah, $870, man. Man, that's crazy. And all the options and all that shit, man. I gotta try to figure out how to get that on mine, man. <laughs> yeah. What to say? The gas with it? 17 city, <laughs> 24 on the highway, so shit. That's probably about 15 miles per gallon. Oh, shit. 87. I might need to take this with me. Nah, that's right. No, I got an 87 also, y'all, so. That's what's up, man. Y'all see it. You got the original shit, man. These some cool cars. Let me go in there and show them real quick the, um... Uh... Oh, you already gave me the keys, right? Uh, yeah, I got that. Yeah, you gave them. That's the road key. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go for a ride. You gonna ride with me? That's all you, man. All right, all right. So, shit, you told them everything. Let me show them. The extra shit. Oh yeah, so we're gonna show them the extra shit. Just to the right, man. Just to the right. Just to the right. right. You know? Oh, Betsy. You know what I mean? I got bad luck with old school cars. Y'all know. <laughs> she got that juju. Can walk up in him. So. You gotta get a white man. So. I don't need none, man. Y'all getting up. <laughs> So yeah, he got original. I had to buy, 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 hey, buy this from him, but I think I'm about to just get mine's re wrapped. My mom's been more than a dog. But mine's not as <laughs> bad as his. <laughs> what a silly. Hold up. So you got the original. These original T tops for the, the Monte Carlo. Oh, yeah. oh, this is the second set. Yeah. Oh, the second set. We got the T top. Oh, yeah. This. I a couple of things in here. Like, so guys, what I'm about to get ready to do, shout out to JJ's Cars and Advice, man. Go ahead and shout the stuff out one time. You already shout it out, man. Well, JJ's shout out your Cars. second channel. Don't you got three channels? You got the podcast, you got, got the... everything, man. Just follow JJ's Cars and Advice and click on channels. Y'all see it all. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and take this bad boy for a ride. Let's get it. So guys, we up in here, man. Let's see how we start this car. You ain't gotta press to get, hold on. Oh, there we go. Crank right up. Let me see. Cause I wanna, I wanna drive. I want, I didn't get the experience to drive my car with the regular 305 regular. Like I wanted to, you know? So. Right, let's swap it. Well, let's have some fun driving. He was smashing on it too. Matter of fact, let me take this on the freeway. I ain't say nothing about it not driving right, so I'm gonna take it on the freeway and see what it do. Something about these cars, man, like, I don't know, I just got the old school bug in me. That's what they were saying, They're like, man, you got one, now you just can't stop buying them. Something like that. Yeah, I think I'm real happy with the, did I close the door on the way?
far, dude. Yeah, this thing drives pretty smooth. I'm excited. I can't wait to get my Monte Carlo back. I ain't lying to y'all. I got so much I want to do with it. Oh, I see what he's talking about. The weather stripping. You can hear it. Yes, finally. Yeah, that's what you need to do, Luck. So a lot of y'all like, yeah, good thing that motherfucking motor, but can't take the money with you. You can't take it with you, man. That's what we was just in there talking about. What is this? So far as mines. Mine's is in pretty shape. I got every all the headliner. I got everything intact. Um, all my seats work. Shit, this radio work. Oh, radio. But yeah, man, my Monte Carlo. That's gonna be my baby. Now I'm gonna have fun with my Z28. I rock though, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. See, I would've, I would've enjoyed this. This car just, it's cool, but I already know now. That's what it, that's what he was saying. He's like, eh, he said, they just cruisers. I would I would I, I would have enjoyed the, the little um, 305 but I would have enjoyed it but I don't really gonna enjoy that goddamn LS motor or that LT motor. Seven point oh LS seven six two. Motherfucker drives good. Hey, I wish my shit was driving like this. I got it, but Mister, oh, I just needs to tune up, tune up my ass. So, oh, I'm excited, but I'm glad I got my, to, to pacify me, you know, while I'm waiting for my car to come back, I got my iRock, so I'm going to have fun driving my little iRock. Pulling back up over here, man. But yeah, it drives excellent. It drives good. It's solid. What else I gotta do to my eye rug? Um, I don't think the brakes are bad on it. I think what it is is the tie rod. It not tie rod. What's that little sway bar links or the little linkage? The, the little the fucking that got bushing. I'm gonna change that. He changed one side, but the other side look a little smashed and like the rubber worn out. So I think. Oh, let me park right here. Let me get my thumbnail picture, man. I don't got. If I don't got, 
Phone got a cool thumbnail, man. I ain't gonna um, watch it or something, man. You gotta have a cool thumbnail, man. Get y'all, get y'all hyped and excited, man. I hope y'all learned something, man. I learned something from him. He knows his damn Monte Carlos, which I will eventually after watching enough. What the fuck is that? Like a rat's nest. But um, let me hop out of here. Man, see. The Out of here, man. I need I need these I rock rims, man. I need them I rock rims, man. So he got an I rock up under here. All right, see, this one used to be JJ's. See, I wanted this a uh, blue one. That's what I wanted. But this is a '86. I wanted an '87. But I think this is the one though. That This one, toe up from the flow up. Oh, that seat's on the way back seat, Dad. But that's what I wanted, and it's a T top car. Got T tops. You know what I mean? Just got it sitting here collecting dust. No, it's not really. Well, it's just sitting there. But we're gonna walk over here. Monte Carlo is just sitting over here sad. Oh, all oh, just in there clowning. Oh, I like those two cars. Let's get this. Um, yeah, Monte Carlo is looking sad. Huda Bird, Midwest City. What? Hey, hold on. Someone, this wasn't like that last time, was it? So this is a LS, uh, 1984. I forgot what motor he put up in this one, but yeah, man, this one just sitting here looking sad. Looking sad. Come get me. Yeah. I got it locked. Even these start worth the money. He got to let it sit here. The value just keep going up, booming up, booming up. But um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to show y'all this car. Also, I showed it multiple times and I show y'all the IROC multiple times, but I wanted to show to the new people that haven't seen it already. So anyways, guys, shout out to the whole Lucky Nation. But just like that, this video is over. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, look what's it is, and I'm out. Yay! Circles until the dive box. Yeah, I'm the winner like, hey, hey, cuss, cuss, on the hood of the scraper.